so I'm kind of giving my new camera a break a little bit just so it rests a little bit. It does work. There's no doubt it does work. It's just that you got to change things up, either reset it to factory settings and, and stuff. Or basically what you got to do is switch out the SD card that comes with it uh, with an SD card that's more reliable. Like the one that came with it, I, I don't know what brand it is. It didn't have no brand name on it. But uh, I replaced it with my sand disc SD card of the same amount. And actually the sand disc gave me about six additional minutes um, on the four hours and uh, the four hour run because originally it was four hours 17 minutes but the sand disc gave me an extra six so it became four hours 23 so that was pretty cool I might look into a bigger one down the line you know I might just do that the only thing though um, that I will say that just like my GoPro it does limitate you with um, you know with 4k recording like the GoPro I think basically had to do about eight minutes and 57 seconds, about eight minutes, 57 seconds, I believe. And that was at 4K at 60 frames per second. This is, I don't know for a second. Um, like I was saying, the recording for 4K here is 4K at 30 frames per second. So it gives you a little bit more time. It gives you like, I think an additional six and a half uh, minutes to, to record with or something like that, which is pretty cool. In my opinion and that's enough to do any kind of video in 4k if you want to in my you know it, you know it all depends whether or not you're gonna talk like I was saying you know um, basically it's at 4k at 30 frames per second like I said it allows you to re it allows you to record for about 14 minutes I say about 14 minutes four seconds I think I gotta go back and look at that again but it's around that time just a little around 14 minutes uh, which is again longer than with the GoPro because the GoPro has you doing it at 60 frames per second in 4k This allows you at 30 frames per second, which is really nice um, Really nice of them to do and to me like I said that's plenty of time to talk about whatever you want to talk about Unless you're gonna really talk about something on camera, then you're probably gonna have to choose either the 2.7 um, 2.7 30 frames per second deal or the 1081 which gives you a little bit more time uh, to get whatever you need off your chest that you're talking about or filming or whatever. But yeah, yeah, you know, I, I have no uh, real issue with it, really. Like I said, all you have to do really is to, first of all, if you have any issues, you just have to hit the factory resets and that basically, you know, resets it back to what it was originally. And by resetting it back to what it was originally, you know, it it uh, basically will um, basically it'll, it'll basically help you out with trying to make sure you got everything you know set and and ready to go and you know pretty much kind of like a restart a reboot for you uh, when it comes to uh, that system. It's kind of like a, a reboot, if you will, uh, when you go and do factory resets. Uh, then you'll be able to, uh, once again, um, you'll be able to basically, uh, once again, uh, just, I guess you could say, set up the time, the date, and all that, hopefully without any issue. And as far as the, as far as the mic goes, it, it does record loud. Now, I'll admit, when I was listening to the uploading on my my 4K TV to my uh, my uh, soundbar, you know, I thought, okay, the volume's a little low. Like, why is it low and everything? But you know, once once it, I gave it a little bit more time, it finally started to sound more regular. Like, I had to go up to uh, the 50 volume, the 50 number almost of volumes, a little above that, just to hear what I hear my recording. And I went to the various settings, and I just went back to, I think, the smart setting or the standard setting uh, for, my, um, for my sound bar when I listen to stuff that, you know, that I'm watching. And almost, you know, surprisingly, almost, you know, like, I would say 30 minutes after, the sound came in clear. Like, I was at, you know, 13 decimals, as they would call it, volume-wise. You know, and I had it up to plus six on the tremble 
and the bass and the subwoofer. But, you know, mainly at 13, if you will, and like a half hour or so later, it sounded good. And I think mainly it's because of the fact that YouTube was still formatting it. it they were still formatting it. It's like, it says 4K. It does show 2160p when you go to the little settings things, the stats for nerds thing, if you will. You know, it did, it did show that. But on one side, it said, you know, current is, you know, the 4K setting of 34, what is it, 3420, 2160. But then on the other side of that, it said, you know, 1080. Like, I was thinking, why is it saying two different resolutions? And, you know, that's when it kind of dawned on me after the volume started to come in a little clearer that, oh, it was still formatting. So uh, with the 4Ks, if you will, you know, with the 4Ks, if you will, it's going to take, you know, a bit of time, you know, to, you know, adjust the volume and everything, especially if you're recording, you know, using the in internal mic, you know, the internal mic in the camera instead of the ex instead of an external mic uh, as well. And that's the other thing, too. You got to make sure that if you have the external mic that you're using, um, you know, uh, on the on the camera and everything. You got to make sure that it's plugged in completely. Like you got to make sure you hear a click in the mic in the mic input, if you will. You got to make sure you hear a click. And then if I'm you, I just test it a little bit. But also make sure that the mic is on. Make sure the switch for whatever you know turns the mic on is set to on, and you're ready to go. And that's the best way to do it. But yeah, I think it just. I think outside of that, it just takes time to really get adjusted, adjusted to and everything, you know, used to. You know, and I've gotten used to uh, a lot of cameras and how they operate differently, you know, especially the video and photo. You know, the same was with my GoPro at one point. So I think we're going to be okay. I think we'll be fine with this, you know. Um, again, it's got a lot of positive ratings on it, which I like. And I think the reason some of them had negative ratings is because, you know, they didn't give it a chance to really, um, they didn't really give it a, you know, they didn't really give it a chance to show what it can do. Like they didn't really take time to test it out and see exactly what, you know, it brings to the table. But so far, so good. I really, I really appreciate, so far, so good. It actually works out. The picture is a little clear. Now you might say, well, now some of you that probably saw the video, you're thinking, well, why were the little glitches here and there? Again, I think that has to do with, um, it has to do either with the, you know, with the SD card that came with it, or it has to do with, you know, the fact that, you know, it's still, it was probably still formatting or something, you know, because I didn't even notice that, I think, on the, when it replayed afterwards. So, yeah, I think it's basically a lot of those things that still has to get adjusted, you know, that, you know, you know, still has to get adjusted with and everything. And again, like I said, the best solution is to take out the SD card that comes with it. If you get one of those uh, cameras and place it with one that is more trusted, like a Sands, or even go out and buy a new one uh, down the line, like I might do in the future. But yeah, I can definitely tell, honestly, as soon as I put my Sands disc in there, not only did it increase uh, the time by four, from 4 hours 17 minutes to 4 hours 23 not only did I notice that, but it definitely feels like it gave it a bit of a boost, if you will. It gave it a bit of a, a boost. So, uh, I would recommend checking out a camera like this, like the Polaroid one that I got. I know it may not be for everybody, but, you know, check it out. I think you might like it. You know, you know for, 100, for $129.99, basically $130, you can't go wrong, especially for 4K filming and all that. And all you have to do is just... As the old saying goes, play around with it, test it out, you know, and everything. And sooner or later, you'll get you'll get the hang of it, and you see, and you'll see what works, what doesn't, you know, and everything. And I, I think you'll get I think you'll get more satisfaction out of it than than you uh, than you can imagine. You'll, then you'll be surprised by. I mean, I know some people have had similar experiences with cameras of a different brand name and all that, but. Again, like I said, if you play with it a little bit, you know, look into, you know, what it brings to the table, you know, 
um, I think you'll be satisfied with, with what you'll get. So, do I, so I, yeah, for anybody that wants an affordable one, I highly recommend it. Like I said, the best things to do uh, basically is to make sure if you have, you know, an S, a SAN, I'll put it this way, a SAN SD card, if you have one of those, especially of high quality, uh, use that instead, use that instead uh, in, the, in the camera, use that SAN disc instead, uh, replace the one that's in the camera, that came with the camera, replace that, probably put it into the camera you're taking your SAN disc out of to use in your new camera, Place the you know uh, SD card that came with um, the uh, the camera you bought. Place that in your other camera for like safekeeping or whatever, and then place your sand disc um, you know into the new camera over the time being until maybe you get like a new one you know uh, down the line and basically um, go from there. And again, like I said, make sure that you. If you're using an external mic, if you're using an external mic, make sure that when you connect it, you hear a click, because that way you'll know it's you'll know that it's ready to go. And also make sure you switch on uh, the camera. Make sure it's on so that you know you can hear yourself uh, when you're after you're done recording and all that. So yeah, and also like I said, you know just. Take your time with it. Don't judge it too quickly. Mess around with it. See what, you know, see what, um, you know, mess around with it and, you know, see what, you know, uh, you feel is the easiest for you to, to work with outside of, you know, potentially over time, learning what else it brings to the table for you to, to utilize in the future. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Comment if you like, and I am out.